For the last 30 years, the Daily Examiner has been making films and videos about how the newspaper is produced and how it covers the lives of the people and the events in the town. When we look back at these programs, we could see that many of the stories, the dramas, the fun, and even the technology would be of interest to a wider audience who know and love Huddersfield. We hope you enjoy looking back at this random selection of people and places as much as we did as we dipped into our archives. This isn't meant to be a definitive history of Huddersfield since 1970, just a taster, an experience we wanted to share with you. News changes every day, of every week, of every year. Now who can remember this? Our reporters and film crew covered a massive fire at Hagen Bairstow clothing manufacturers during the making of our first film on August the 4th, 1970. The Examiner front page headline reported damage amounting to £100,000. That might not sound very high for a major blaze, but think about this. 30 years ago, you could buy a three-bedroom semi for £3,500 with built-in central heating. Suddenly, that puts the figure into perspective. Thankfully, disasters like this are pretty rare in Huddersfield. Many stories are on a lighter note. This was the Examiner Fun Run in July 1989. Television presenter Harry Gratian swapped his running commentary for his running shoes to start the event from the Huddersfield Rugby Union Club ground at Waterloo. Those that tackled the five mile route will remember the long, agonising drag up Somerset Road. But it was all worth it as over the years many thousands of pounds were raised for local charities. Amongst the many changes in the 90s, the rugby club moved to new premises at Lockwood Park. It seems that even in the 70s they had a taste for nostalgia. This was a typical night at the thriving rock and roll club with boppers rocking around the clock till dawn. And the place to be? The Friendly and Trades Club, of course, at the bottom of Northumberland Street, which is now all set for a whole new lease of life. But not everyone went in for such active forms of relaxation. If they wanted something to look at, the Mayor's Parade was a pretty good way to spend a Saturday afternoon in 1979. With crowds lining the route from the town centre up to Greenhead Park, in the days when traffic was still allowed along the now pedestrianised New Street. Not that life is all fun and frivolity. There's inevitably a serious side to all our lives. 
Kirklees Council has been taking care of the town's business since local government reorganisation in 1974. This debate in 1985 was about fixing the local rates and consequently was of major public interest at that time. Major issues and news events come and go, but in a town, it's the people that make the news. Their stories are the ones that really count. It could be a retirement presentation. But apart from anything else, he's left one busy occupation to uh, take up another. He just told me this minute that he's uh, finished his washing up for the morning. <laughs> and he wonders what, uh, what his wife was thinking because he was going to be so long. I thank you for your past services and uh, it gives me great pleasure to hand over this little piece of paper. I don't know uh, what it says inside but I hope it makes you very happy. Thank you very much for your past services. Thank you. Or it could be couples tying the knot on their special wedding day. In the 70s, weddings had to take place in church or at the register office. Nowadays, following changes in licensing regulations, our photographers can find themselves in all manner of surroundings. Over the years, although the news changed, production methods remained essentially the same. Ink and hot metal was the only way. The newspaper business, like most others, has seen great changes in technology in 30 years. Those days of hot metal and reporters sitting in smoke-filled newsrooms using manual typewriters are long gone. Knock it out the intel first, just let the light shine on. The examiner has always taken the lead, installing the latest in newspaper technology. Hard to believe that this was advanced typesetting for its day. Since replaced with a fully integrated state of the art computer system. Welcome then to the media revolution. Four pages created and designed on a computer screen. From reporter to reader, at the click of a button, or maybe two. Thirty years might seem a long time to some of us, but just a brief glance at the traffic and transport over that period reminds us how quickly things look out of date. 